Yo, what's up guys? This is your boy Friendzone here, and today I'm going to show you how, yes, you can indeed record MIDI output into FL Studio. Now this isn't MIDI from an external device like a MIDI keyboard. This is actually MIDI generated from a VST MIDI plugin, such as Kernu's excellent Cream Arpeggiator or 7 Aliens Kanaya. Um, and the reason you'd want to do this, um, if you don't already know, is using an arpeggiator like this allows you to actually um, chop up notes or chords or make chords out of single notes or do something like that and by recording that data you then have access to those edited notes which is really really awesome so that gives you a lot of flexibility um, and most digital audio workstations allow this but strangely FL Studio does not however I have found a way to which you can actually get the MIDI output um, kind of recorded into FL Studio First off, I need to explain that FL Studio is not my main digital audio workstation, so I may do things a little more difficult than they actually need to be. Also, keep in mind that this is a very ghetto-ass workaround, and still isn't preferable to say actually being able to record MIDI into FL Studio. But yes, it is possible, and yes, it is fairly simple. So first, you're going to need a MIDI plugin, such as Cream, which I have here, to send the MIDI data. I mean, after all, what's the use of recording MIDI output if you don't have anything to record? Um, which I assume a lot of you do because you're watching this video. And second of all, strangely, you need to download this VST plugin called Moloto. Um, Moloto is an excellent VST plugin that allows you to share like MIDI riffs between people on this online cloud sort of thing. It's really awesome, but it also has some other neat features that allow you to record MIDI. So to get that, you go to comelodi.com. Um, it's going to be comelodi.com slash Moloto. Click on either of these download buttons. Um, click on it and download it and install that shiz into your VST plugin directory. Um, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed, but once you do that, open FL Studio, add one more, refresh, fast scan, and if you haven't installed it yet, it'll show up as red. Um, it's alphabetical here under Moloto. So once you go ahead and load that up, I may ask you to log in here. You don't have to do that right now unless it forces you to. Um, and you have Meloto. Now what Meloto does look like right now is another piano roll but never fear it is not actually going to be used as your main piano roll. Think of Meloto instead as like a sort of MIDI conduit that takes the MIDI from um, the output in Cream, sends it to Meloto which is your conduit and from there you can actually drag it directly into any of the step sequencer or piano roll channels which is really cool. In order to set that up, you need to go into Cream or whatever uh, MIDI VST you have, click on this little wrapping settings, looks like a gear in the top left, and change the output port to a number. Now there are a hundred output ports I think, um, just choose one that you'll remember because it doesn't matter, because you need to go into the wrapping settings under Meloto, the gear up here, and for the input port you need to choose that same one. Now I usually choose the number one, I don't really know why, but I do, and it's kind of forced to have it now, but you can choose whatever you want. So there you have it. Now the MIDI from Cream is rooted to Meloto. So if I have a MIDI keyboard right here, and if I play a chord on it, um, so what you're going to hear is, because Cream actually generates no sound, you're going to hear Meloto's piano roll playing the notes I'm generating from Cream's arpeggiator. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. So now that that's set up, um, is what you're going to want to try to do. Hold on, let me turn the tempo down. Okay. Now that I have the tempos um, the same, have this all synced up, I can click the record button here, select cream because this is what I'm going to be sending it to, and click the play button. As you can see now, the output that I recorded from Cream is now directly right here into Meloto, and all the velocity and everything um, I recorded with it on with Cream is saved with Meloto. So now is what I get to do is take this workspace thing, this little um, orange box, click it and drag it directly onto the plugin that I want to use. Now the plugin I'm using right now is Sonic Academy's Ana VST synth. Um, and if you open the piano roll up, you will see those notes that you that I recorded directly from Cream's output. 
Now, if you look at it this way, it looks really sloppy. And the reason for that is, is that I recorded this live, so Cream isn't actually quantized to any sort of beat necessarily. So that's why these are kind of off, and they're kind of, you have duplicates because I didn't play it directly on the right time, and it's just not very perfect. So the best way to do it is to actually have a pattern pre-recorded into your arpeggiator such as Cream, which I do have. Um, and from here I can actually just have the um, sequencer play these chords directly quantized to the beat, and now it will record those directly into Meloto. So first off is what you want to do is obviously clear Meloto so you don't have any lingering notes stuck on it, or it will record over those, and you will have multiple notes and it's just a mess. Um, the next thing you want to make sure you do when you do this is to have a little bit of space between the time your notes actually start because if you were to have the note say here it would actually start recording and cut off the first note of the ar um, of the arpeggio so you want to have it just give it a little bit of space I usually give it a bar it doesn't matter the other reason you want to leave space here is when it's done FL Studio will loop it back to the beginning and having this bar here gives me the time to stop the um, playback so it doesn't start recording again and just so it doesn't loop, keep looping and I know exactly where it stops so it just makes it easier on me as the user to not have to find out when the pattern started restarting and so on and so forth. So now that I have this, I go back into Meloto, click the arm record button, click the actual, make sure we're starting here, click the actual play button and it's going to record. Now something neat about this is I can actually change parameters in real time and edit those notes in real time. So right now I'm screwing with the gates um, and the gate parameter is going to change the length of the notes. So if I go to Meloto, you can actually see, you may not be able to see it very well here, but when I drag this into Anna, you will be able to see that right here is when I adjusted the gate so it's a much shorter gate. Um, so that's really neat that you can do that and record that output in well, pretty much real time, um, messing with those parameters in real time. A couple things to think about when you're doing it this way. First of all, um, Meloto, if you're trying to, if you're playing back sound like after it's done and you have this thing full and you don't want to clear it, mute this, otherwise it'll keep playing even if you turn the little light off here and like mute the track. Um, that's just the way Meloto works and part of the genius of that is, um, is that it allows you to record MIDI because it's separate from the digital audio workstation. So that's great. So just be sure to mute that. Um, if you want to preview what your arpeggio would sound like on the actual track you're eventually going to have a recording to, all you have to do is simply go to that um, VST that you're using, go to the input port and select the same one you're using as the output for Cream and the input for Meloto. And now if I go to Cream with the Meloto's piano muted, I can record directly back into Meloto, but I will be previewing it on the Anna track. So check it out. Pretty nifty. So, I hope this helped you guys out with being able to record MIDI into FL Studio. I mean, I know it's not directly into FL Studio, but it's definitely an improvement. And it's definitely, you know, makes something like using Cream a lot more usable because now, you know, these notes are directly editable. And that's great. You know, obviously, when it's like this, you're going to want to bring it back to the beginning and, you know, add that in. And you can do that because it allows you to do that, which is great. So that is how you record MIDI into FL Studio. If you have a question or comment for me or anything, please leave one in the comment section and I will try to get back to you. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe or like this video if it helped you out at all or if you feel like it. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys later.